Hello, this is producer Johnny F. And today's quick tip, I'm going to talk about pre-fader metering and why you should be using it. Okay, so by default, the meters in Logic are post-fader. Okay, so if I just play this synth line I have here. Okay, so we can see there the level is uh, fine. It's not clipping, it's under zero dB, it's minus one. Now that will change, for instance, if I turn the level down. And you can see now it says minus five. So actually it's just changing with the fader because it's post fader, it's after fader. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to actually understand how loud that sound is on that channel because it could be clipping. And when you start to add processes such as EQ, compressors, anything like that, the level might start to go up. You start to hear distortion, don't really know why because you don't have a, a visual guide to say this track is clipping. However, if we go up here, if you don't have this icon available, just right click to customize control bar and click pre-fader metering. Now let's select this. Now we will see an accurate level of what's actually going on in that track. And you'll see as I move the fader, the level of the sound that you hear will change. However, the meter will stay the same. And even right the way down there where you can't hear any sound at all, you can see the meter is still staying the same. And we also notice it's massively clipping. It's nearly six dB over zero. So actually, if you start to add processes to that, that's when you could run into problems. So pre-fader meeting is always preferential over post-fader metering.